The tire tracks will lead me to Barbara. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. Alfred, I want the Arkham Knight's name. As do I, Master Bruce. He has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. And Alfred. Yes, sir. They knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocol. Don't drop your guard. I've got Oracle, Batman. Now you care who I am. Just gotta find me. But Gotham's a big place, and there's a whole world of the toys. Alfred, the militia have deployed a device. It's burrowed deep into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate. It's a bomb, Alfred. A well-armored one. Oh, dear. In that case, sir, should you really be standing quite so close? I'm going to set up a remote link to the bat computer and hit it with every virus we've got. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. The virus upload has destabilized the device. If you move too far away and lose the connection, it will flatten everything within a 10 mile radius. As you predicted, sir, he's trying to defuse the device. The drones you requested have been deployed. We need those bombs in place, Sergeant. They're our deterrent. I know, sir. I'll stop him dead. Rattler's been hit. Trigger a controlled explosion.
Arkham Knight's trail leads into Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, Sam. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. Tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, sir. Miyagani Island is rife with militia drones and troops. crawling with the Arkham Knights militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network.
Got another. Nothing we can do for him. Spread out. Get revenge. <laughs> With the Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right. In all the excitement, I almost forgot. <laughs> you don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a grudge, Bats. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget it, Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know! It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already! I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies. As Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I should just tie her up and I left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do.
Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? What a pair you make. Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lasts, Dark, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Might want to search the Bristol district, sir. Officers have reported hearing the same opera music associated with other crime scenes you've investigated.
You know, Hugo Strange used to lecture us like Scarecrow, but, but he's done food packages too, you know? Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims. All of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. <laughs> 